Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with one of the most powerful uh, premium tanks out there, Skoda T56. In fact, I lately checked out how the community ratings are looking like on this vehicle and so far 350 uh, people voted and uh, the tank overall is 4.8 stars but since the gun handling can be derpy with this vehicle, uh, it is fun wise 4.3 which is still very very good if you had no clue you can rate the tanks in the index page you can log in via our gaming api right and you can rate pretty much every and each tank you have 50 games with uh share your opinion with us uh and we would be extremely grateful so far um community ratings has over 50,000 votes which is absolutely amazing considering this is this is out for maybe like uh I would say uh, a month, maybe less than that. Anyways, now let's talk Škoda T56. Why am I saying this tank is one of the most powerful tanks in the world of tanks? Well, to begin with, you have autoloader gun with quite nice platform, so you have a bit of the armor. And from the auto loader in three and a half seconds, you can do 900 damage plus. This is absolutely insane. It is truly insanely good. And let's say whenever you are getting a tier six matchmaking, which is which is just simply nuts and it is madness, you can pretty much uh, clip out any tier six uh, like there is no tomorrow. Like this, you are saying hi and someone is taking one for the team and he is teleporting straight to the garage. He doesn't even realize what the flying have happened. And that's completely fine as well, right? <clears throat> Whenever you are playing with a Škoda. Whenever you are playing with a tier 6, this is not what you want to see. But it is how it is. Anyways, what we noticed, we noticed someone from the enemy team is capping the base. So you know what? I have an idea. How about if we would go around the corner and we would check out who is that brave to cap the base. What do you think about that? What do you think about that, fellas? So, who is the lucky winner who will win free ticket to the garage? Greetings, fellas. Mm. Oh, sore auto loader around the corner. Watch this. Boom, 400 in the face. Gsor is questioning his life choices, but he's speaking again, and uh, <clears throat> you know what? There is nothing better than people who are using extra rations and they are burning to death. Two shots, 1.2 thousand damage. I'm telling you, this tank is uh, pretty crazy and this tank has a lot of a lot of a lot of things to offer. Truly, it does. Meanwhile, if you would pay attention at this Pavlok, Look at this beauty. Pavlok, free ticket to the garage. And you know, once again, there is absolutely nothing, I repeat, absolutely nothing what enemies could do about this. Literally nothing. First couple of minutes we have 2000 damage dealt and we are having a blast. Now Hashtitsi. Skill, how about Hashtitsi, no? And how about Hashtitsi? Eh, that is mean. Sir, that is mean. HTC showed the muscle and HTC spanked the living crap out of us. It's okay, no complaints, no regrets, we are completely fine. We are sitting on two and a half thousand damage so far and it is only the start. In this game, I believe this battle can be 5,000 without bigger problems whatsoever. Now, we highlighted the good things about this tank. How about the bad things? That is a great question. I think gun handling of this vehicle is a bit of the stinky pooper. I think gun handling is uh, is a problem of this tank. And I truly mean it. Um, the worst part of all of this is that sometimes uh, you are going to hit a shell, right? Uh, so it's okay, there is no problems whatsoever and so on, so on. But sometimes the gun will refuse to work. And there is absolutely nothing what you can do about this. There is absolutely nothing what you can change about this. You just need to be a big boy and to say, okay, fine, fair enough. Not much what I can change about that and take one for the team, you know? This is how this tank behaves and this is how this tank works. 
Okay, I still have one in the mag, and I would love to spank the Super Hellcat since he's politely asking for us to do so. I truly want to say hello. But obviously prioritizing the targets, Rene is significantly more dangerous tank, so we are choosing Rene. Now, we are sitting on 3.5 thousand damage. We are feeling very, very, very well. There is nothing to be worried about. In fact, we are feeling great and we are enjoying ourselves to the maximum. But you know what? There is still a lot of things for us to do. So what we are going to do, we are going to load the golden clip for Renier because I do not want to throw the shot and we are going to send him to the garage. After that, we will go for a super Hellcat and everything will be fine. Rene is trying to escape, but it doesn't really change absolutely anything because this gentleman is dead either way. And we are sending him to the garage just like so. Beautiful. Now we are going to spank the T-34 just like so. Good, good, good. And we are trying to escape now. That's fine. There is nothing to be worried about. Oh, plunge change it. There is a lot of things to be worried about. You see this Pantera? Luckily, he is not the brightest uh, and not the, sharpest, uh, not the sharpest tool in the shed because otherwise I would be dead. Excellent. Very, very good. How about the Super Hellcat? We are going to take our time to say hello for this gentleman and we are going to send him back to the garage. Nice. I'm telling you, fellas. This tank in the correct matchmaking is absolute. It's not even about matchmaking. If you understand how to play with autoloader tanks, you are booming, you are chilling, you are having the best time ever, and there is absolutely nothing what the enemies could do for you, just because how powerful you are, um, what combination of the things you have, right? It is just insane. Now, I would love to eliminate enemy Pantera. That is very, very important. So what we are going to do, we are going to relocate like this. We are going to take our time. We know that enemy light tank is sitting somewhere over there, but I do not really mind this too much. And I'm waiting until my gun will be fixed. Skill, why are you waiting until your gun to, uh, will be fixed? The thing is, I just... Ooh, the thing is, I just want to be more accurate, right? I don't really think I am asking too much, do I? Meanwhile, T-34 is not paying too much attention and T-34 is going straight to the garage. Absolutely glorious. Very, very, very good first game. We can get 8 kills here without bigger problems whatsoever. Well, unless I will mess up. And if I will mess up, well, I believe it is me problem, right? Okay, Panther. Unfortunately, I missed the shot. That is okay. But P44 Panther did not figure it out that I have a, an autoloader gun. Uh, so he peaked for seconds. Well, unfortunate, I guess. Beautiful game. Very, very, very beautiful game. Okay, what do we want to do next? Um, I want to approach Cheeto SP. I have no doubts whatsoever I can and I will be able to clip him out fully. But now the question is, will I penetrate every and each shot and is this guy still sitting here around the corner? I mean, he's playing with a tank destroyer. I wouldn't be act surprised if he would. Huh, he isn't. He found his keyboard. Oh, now we know where he is. This is this is a very, very, very bad situation for this gentleman. Why so? Well, I'm Skoda, right? I have magazine and I have gold loaded as well for him. Um, yeah, unlucky, I guess. Unlucky. So, first things first. Let's aim for Cupola. He penetrated us, that's okay, and we are sending him to the garage. Absolutely glorious game, fellas. Absolutely glorious game. I am I am super happy about this. And you know, this is the those are the games which I want to show for you whenever I am playing with very, very powerful tanks. Obviously, this is only a first out of three games over there. I am very, very well aware of that, don't get me wrong. But to be fair with you. Um, I believe other games are going to be quite great as well. <clears throat> 6.4 thousand damage, fellas. Uh, yes, you are seeing this correctly. Yes, we are playing with a um, tier 8 tank. And yes, we just uh, carried this game without uh, thinking whatsoever. 
what a beautiful, beautiful performance and what a beautiful game this was. Absolutely glorious. And look at this beautiful performance, fellas. 8 kills, 6.4 thousand damage, 200 assisting damage, Solid Ace Wanker, Radley Walters, Top Gun, Steel Wall, High Caliber, Casual 1.8 base experience. And Profits Boys, yeah, 166,000 uh, casual profits over there. Yeah, this is what this tank can do. Absolutely amazing. Okay, fellas, for a second game, we are going to watch Jurgensas playing with a Škoda T56. I changed my plan in the middle. Hear me out. Since we had a very, very good performance with this vehicle, right? I thought, okay, how about if we are going to take a look at the great games played by the other players with this vehicle? How about this? And look at the shot. By the way, I do not know how this game is going to look like, uh, but I know the score, and the score is going to be a solid one. Why am I doing this? Because I know some of you love live games, some of you like epic games. Why not to combine those two together? I have played with a Škoda for a very first battle. We had a massive carry, or we had a nice carry. And now let's see how others are playing with this tank and... Um, how they are performing with this vehicle. So the first things first, what we can see, I noticed the pattern when I was looking for a replace with a Škoda. Most of the people who had a great performance, 8,000 damage, 9,000 damage, whatever, all of them had much making against the lower tiers. This is what I noticed, fellas. So this is another example. We had a nice carry against the tier 6s, right? This gentleman is going to have a nice care against the tier 6s as well. Uh, what does it mean? That means that Škoda armor is significantly better whenever you are uh, playing against the tanks who cannot penetrate you, right? If you are playing with the tanks which can easily spank you like there is no tomorrow, as an example, if we would take a look at the tank like uh, E100, you know? Obviously, it is going to be significantly harder to play with E100 than to spank the living crap out of the cover too. Um, I think this is the main reason why. So you want matchmaking like this in order to have a chance to have a massive game. Anyways, 2.3 thousand damage dealt. First two shots uh, were nuts. Uh, he managed to connect uh, <laughs> to the other side of the map, which is absolutely insanity, but sometimes it happens. And now we have a steer down. Škoda T56 from the enemy side against the Škoda T56 from our side. And what to do in order to get maximum use of all of this? This is the question. Also, I must admit I love the um, consumable slowdown here. Uh, Medkit is on the fourth section, the repair kit is on the fifth section, and the extra rations are on the sixth section. This is the proper way to play the game. So I have a feeling this gentleman knows exactly what he is doing. Now, all in all, enemy Škoda has 1.1 thousand hit points, and I'm curious how is he going to dig him? Is, it, is he going to go full ham now, or what? Now the situation is very, very simple. If he would make pressure against the enemy Škoda T56, what we would have... Oh, he is going for it. He cannot fully clip him out. This is the question, you know, and what to do in this type of situation. Will he trade? Will he bait the shots? Or what he, is he going to do? Let's see. Peaking like there is no tomorrow. Uh, first shot, unfortunately, bounces. The second shot hits. Meanwhile, he's using the T-44 to take one for the team. T-44 isn't very happy about this. And Jet Panzer is saying, Hey, it's my time to shine. And he is bullying the enemy Škoda T-56 like there is no tomorrow. So far, 3,000 damage dealt. Yip, yip, hooray. The session is looking... Uh, or I suppose to say the game is looking very, very good for this gentleman and he is sending brother from other mother straight to the garage. Have you seen how long he 
Aimed. I have a feeling he experienced Škoda T56 uh, trolling factor as well because yes, this tank can troll once in a while and whenever it does, oh boy, oh boy, then the situation is quite uh, different. So far, in my opinion, game was played very, very well. There wasn't any mistakes made whatsoever. And um, now probably the whole plan of all of this is to uh, punish whoever is playing in the middle, right? If there is going to be someone who will get spotted. Oh, my bananas. Poor Amaxi in 2023. I am feeling sorry for him. Well, by the way, just to let you know, they are the same um, tier tanks. Amaix CDC and Škoda T56 is the same tier tank. Quite nuts if you would ask me. Meanwhile, light tank is getting spotted in the middle. Obviously, Škoda is about to reload. He is taking the kill. And he noticed the CS44 going full bananas for him. And he bounced the shot. Ay, 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 ay. Not the best aim, but there is nothing what he can change about this. And now, fellas... Uh, face to face battle. Who will win? CS44 or Škoda T56, which is one of the best uh, uh, tanks in the game. I believe you know the answer and I know the answer, right? No, CS, you enjoyed yourself. Yeah, have a good day, my man. Have a good day. 5.4 thousand damage, like there is no tomorrow. I can't say this game, looking into this game, looking into the score, right, that uh, uh, it was some kind of uh, 200 IQ moves or something, right? Don't get me wrong, uh, this gentleman is playing extremely well and he is doing everything properly. There is nothing to say about this, right? Uh, but what do I mean by saying this is this tank isn't a rocket science to play with. Uh, at least I am not looking into this tank as it would be extremely difficult to make it work as an example like a new sword 1010 or something. No, it's not the case. All you need to do, you need to uh, find the enemies who are going to make a um, mistake once in a while and you are booming. And you are going to have the greatest time of all time. Oh yeah, 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 poor shit bug. Well... That was enjoyable. I do not know how about you fellas, but I think World of Tanks with a plus too much making is the best thing what could happen, especially whenever you are bottom tier, right? Obviously, I am being sarcastic and this is uh, not the finest thing and this is not the most enjoyable experience, but there is nothing what uh, um, this tier 6 could have done differently. Meanwhile, will the Scorpion peak like this? This is the question. Because if Scorpion will peak like this, oh yeah, 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 mistakes were made, Scorpion derped the shot, but Škoda derped the shot as well. Oh yeah, 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 uh, definitely not ideal, now he needs to figure out where to run, there is one Arta sitting somewhere over there, there is other Arta sitting somewhere over there, uh, Scorpion is down to fartable, I am BT though, he is down to two shotable, and this is looking very, very, very hard situation, and this is going to be a very interesting end game. so, what will happen, Scorpion made a humongous mistake, this guy knows what he is doing, he instantly went on the reload, because he knows he cannot finish off, off the IMBT and since cannot, he cannot finish IMBT he is making sure he is going to uh, reload properly. Meanwhile, Škoda is getting, getting compliments um, from uh, his uh, teammate um, teammate is saying you idiot, uh, idiot play Škoda <laughs> Uh, I love World of Tanks positivity, fellas. There is there is nothing better than positivity in the World of Tanks, don't you think so? Because for me, you know, a lot of people are getting tilted when they are seeing message like this. For me, it is actually funny how um, how angry you need to be in order to go ham on the random guy uh, in the game, especially whenever uh, you died, right? But there is a field commander, and what can I say? He has a bright future in the game, I believe. Anyways, uh, what Škoda needs to do at this point, he needs to find the MBT making a silly goose decision. Um, and to be fair with you, this game is extremely close. Not only there is Artas who can obviously cut the Škoda hit points by humongous margin, but in the same time, 
there is uh, uh, there is a MBT and the MBT has a clip but there is one bad thing with the MBT at least in my humble opinion the gun handling of their tank is kind of a stinker meanwhile Arta is going in like there is no tomorrow um, there is good thing and bad thing of all of this good thing Arta is down bad thing now the MBT knows the position where uh, Škoda is playing Meanwhile, IMBT is making a hardcore pressure and he is going to go for Arta more likely. Indeed he is, he is going for Arta and this might be a critical mistake. Watch this. Now it's very important not to derby the shots. Because if our Škoda will derby the shot, it's game over. Beautiful shot into the side and Arta is finishing him off. Very, very, very solid performance and very solid battle overall. Okay. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Obviously, the last Arta left, and this Arta cannot really um, kill the Škoda. He simply cannot. So, let's speed forward. Can Škoda find the Arta? He's going broom like there is no tomorrow. He found the Arta making pressure, and he finished him off with a high explosive clip. Don't you think it is a pretty beautiful game? Look at this beauty, fellas. Look at this beauty. Jugger Jur Gensas show the dominance with a Škoda T56. 7.8 thousand damage, 8 kills, 400 assisting damage. Paskuki Medrel, Radley Volter, Stop Gun. 2.1 thousand base experience, which is literally insane if you would ask me. And 133,000 profits without any boosters, without anything. And I think this game showed it all. The potential of the Škoda T56 and most importantly, the gun. That gun sometimes can derp around and gun can treat you like a big pile of caco as well. Okay, fellas, that's what I have for you today. Two awesome games. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a great time. And see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.